Do you want to sell come springtime? Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. So you're thinking spring might be a really great time to sell your house. Then be sure to do these five things right now. Number one, make a plan and with deadlines because with deadlines, you'll get superior results. And no deadlines, well, you don't wanna go there. Number two, take a look around outside. The days are getting shorter. Time's running out on the ability to get everything tucked in bed for the winter. Uh, make everything ready so that when springtime comes, all you have to do is put the finishing touches on the outside of your property to create that curb appeal so that people get from the street into your house to look at it. You can start with the leaves. I mean, these things will ruin your lawn over the course of the winter and hey, everybody's got them. Let's not kid ourselves. One week you uh, get them all cleaned up and the next week you have uh, them all over again. I've got my uh, two helpers here today. This is Maddie and Rascal. They're a big help. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you'll want to take and uh, maybe mulch your flower beds them in shape so that uh, you can put some spring flowers in to add some color. Uh, that helps get from the street into your house. Um, now's a good time to take a look at your trees, your bigger trees, and make sure that uh, there's nothing that needs to be brought down so that uh, people don't look at your trees in the springtime and go, oh my god, that branch is going to fall on my house. Hey, uh, winter is a great time to get uh, tree trimming done or trees taken down. And yeah, I know a guy. And prices are oftentimes at a discount in the winter. So take a look at them. Every uh, property has its own unique things. With us, it's the fountain. Uh, we love this. Uh, the day that I pull this for the winter, uh, my wife is not in the best of moods. And come springtime, hey, it's the best thing on earth when the fountain goes back in. Number three. Talk with a good mortgage lender. And by the way, yeah, I know a guy. Do it now and you'll have time to save some more money, cut expenses, improve your credit score, learn all the options that you might have to work with. And hey, here's a pro tip. If you think you might want extra cash on hand, and even if you don't think you will, maybe you ought to put this tool in your toolbox, get a HELOC now because once your property's for sale, there's no way you're going to get one. So better to have the money cash in hand to help you with uh, more down payment or moving costs or just making a deal work, okay? So pro tip, if you need a, or want extra cash on hand, get a HELOC on your existing house right now. Number four, let's take a look at the inside. I mean, hey, it's a good place to be in the winter, right? Uh, you were, you're thinking maybe paint, carpet, countertops, you're not sure what to do, I've got a great value for you. My free room by room analysis will help you sort out what to fix up and what you can skip over. Hey, you win either way. Number five, call me anytime. In addition to having been a realtor for all these years, my background includes remodeling contractor, builder, appraiser, mortgage lender, uh, even commercial property inspector. All that means to you, I can help you uh, achieve greater success in your real estate efforts. So call me with your questions, concerns, ideas too, because working together, you'll achieve more success. Enough said. Subscribe button. Be sure to share this with your friends whenever they're talking real estate. And remember, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now.